Hey man, I'm Chris with Thonecats, and here is some Hearthstone Ladder gameplay. Alright, if you're oblivious to Season 7, it is all Hunter, dude. It's really gross. I don't even know how to handle this. Zombie Chow is a must-keep. It's so good against Hunter. It's all about killing that first Undertaker, if I can. I think I'm going to mulligan like that. Soulfire seems a little too risky. And this is a deck that pretends to be Zoo. Oh, man. I go first. Alright, we'll see how to play this. Turn one Undertaker, bro. What up? So he thinks I'm playing Zoo, but this is like a really trolly deck to where um, you're basically surprising them. Oh, man. And I did not make this deck. Uh, right now, this is the number one deck on the Warlock section of Hearthbone. So I can kill that off, and then we'll play a Zombie Chow. Or I don't know. I think I'm going to play the Knife Juggler. Because he coined that out. Yeah, we'll do it that way. If I was going to just play the Zombie Chow, I could have gone face with that 1-2 and made him make the trade. So everyone's playing Hunter, dude, and you'll just get wrecked in the craziest ways. Wow. Hunter is normally the aggressor, and right now he is playing super, like, defensive or just off. Right now I have the option of going Zombie Chow, Hero Power, or I could Harvest Golem. I think we're just going to Golem and hit. And I don't know. Now he's going to play Animal Companion. But me getting that turn one Undertaker shifted this game into my favor. That's probably a freezing trap. It could be a snake, but at the same time I kind of doubt it. Alright. So this turn... One, we need to bait the trap. There's no way that's explosive, right? If that's explosive, I'm in trouble. Everybody runs freezing. If it was explosive, I don't know if it's better to play my creatures first to try to kill that before this dies or not. It has to be freezing. Watch. Freezing trap. No! I thought it was freezing trap. Nobody runs with explosives anymore. Oh my god, we're dead. Now that Leper Gnome's gonna get value and be able to kill my Flame Imp. And I'm gonna tap. Okay, that changes everything. Dude, I hope they nerf Undertaker. I feel really like greasy playing Undertaker. And I use that phrase greasy from, like, Trailer Park Boys. But Undertaker is a straight-up greasy card, man. Oh, he's gonna kill the Undertaker. Wow! What's his deal? Oh, kill command the Undertaker, and then run into that to gain life. But look at this guy! He's playing so defensively. I mean, Doom Guard, right? He just played his Hunter's Mark. Ouch. I would have loved to kept any creature. But he's already dumped so many good cards. Little weird. That's a nice counter. If I didn't draw that, I was thinking about attacking that and then shadow flaming, but it wouldn't kill that. But I can do this. And then play my Belcher. And then sneak in for two. But dude, if I beat a hunter with this kind of like, it's a mid-ranged warlock with void walkers. 
No, Void Callers. Whichever one summons a demon. Undertaker! Spider. Not Leper Gnome. And Steady Shot. I could still lose this game. That's really gonna mess him up, though. Alright. Do I kill all of those? And get my token? I think I do, before that grows even more. But, if he had another Death Rattle creature, he would have played it. Either way. I just don't know if it's foolish to do that or not. 20 to 10. It looks like I'm gonna win. I just don't want to blow this game. We'll life tap. And now I can soul fire one, but I don't know what to kill. That's the biggest. But am I a fool for not killing Undertaker? I think I am. We'll do it. I'm so afraid of that card, dude. Maybe the right play there was Soulfire or, or um, Shadow Flaming this. And I just would have wrecked his side of the board. I was going to say no taunt. Oh my god, he got that off of a web spinner. Now he's going to Tauntville. That's a little weird. Another Belcho. Alright, we're fine. This game's over. I'll get some tokens out. Play another one of these. I could life tap, but I don't want him to... There's no way that he could kill me. There's literally no way, but I'm not going to life tap anyways. Just because I don't want to get too low and have him surprise me. But I can't lose this turn. Two yeah, well played. Alright guys. It beat a hunter, what the heck. Oh, and I got a gold shadow flame off of that, not bad. Okay, I guess we'll play this mid-range warlock one more game. But I do kind of want to show you another deck that's geared to beat Hunter. It's like a Druid Ramp deck with Molten Giants. I'll show you both. Here's Molten Ramp. Yeah, I actually beat a Hunter. What a treat. And this deck, uh, the first deck was on HearthPone.com. It's a Season 7 Mid-Range Warlock. This deck that I'm playing now is a Molten Giant. Oh god. I bet this guy's playing Handlock. I think I've played against him a lot, and he always plays Handlock. So this deck is a Hunter Hunter. Oh dear. Alright, we'll keep Wild Growth. We are playing a Ramp deck. Oh no. Now I might want him to be playing Handlock. But this deck is made to stomp aggro. Because no one expects you to play a Molten Giant at the last second. Okay, he's aggro. Good. No Leper Gnome. Oh my god. <laughs> There's our boy, Molten Giant. We're going to need a way to taunt it up, though. Here we go. So I can silence one now. I could do Starfall, but it's not going to do enough. We'll silence one. I, must safeguard the I hope it doesn't matter which one. It probably does. Any reason for me to innervate now? I don't think there is. Okay, so check it out. This turn, if he plays one Death Rattle, I'll be able to run this into that. No, I wouldn't want a Starfall, because I'm going to activate his Nerubian Egg. Eesh. 
Uh, too late for Gamble on this one. I forgot to do Gambles on Hearthstone. We haven't played Hearthstone in so long on stream. It's probably why. I'm looking at chat. Oh god. Up to a 3-4. And he's going all face. My Molten Giant is costing less and less mana. That was a good draw. We'll play it. I don't know. I'm tempted to charge it. Let's think. If I charge it, I can kill that off. And this will kill that off. I really think I'm going to charge it. I don't want him to get sneaky during his turn and find some way to kill it. Yeah, we'll charge it. I feel like this is a mistake. Any reason for me to innervate now? Not that I can see. We'll end it. Guys, don't fight in chat. Oh my god, come on. Alright, his egg just got activated. Great. That's okay. Um, I have Starfall. I can run this into that. Oh, Starfall value. Play more cards with two defense, please. No, he life taps. Alright, we're getting closer to that free Molten Giant. Okay, now I could Innervate to get up to 8. So I could Wrath that. Ugh, my hand's gonna be so naked though. I don't know if it's good or not. Board clear? Twenty-five to twenty, molten giant in hand. Can we beat a hunter and a zoolock back to back? He life taps. Oh man, he's running out of steam, dude. That was his fifth turn, so no doom guard. Oh, and a Karen Bloodhoof to rain on his parade. How can Zoo deal with that? Besides, like, a slew of minions. Oh, he silenced it. That's not even that bad. That's a little worse. But dude, I'm stretching this game out. And this is bad for him. Healing Touch! So you play a mountain, a Molten Giant, you taunt it up, and then you heal up with Healing Touch. There's only one Healing Touch in the deck. Alright. We'll kill that off. And kill that off. And that's all we got. I have to save this wild growth for card draw at the very end. He has a lot of cards in hand. Five cards in hand and he's playing Zoo at seven mana. Yeah, here come the tokens. Oh, that stinks. Now that will kill that. When the spiders generate from his knife juggler. No! Throw him a well played. Next turn, I can play my Molten Giant. For better or for worse. Wow. Not cool, man. 
I think I'm dead now. If he hits a Doom Guard, I'm in trouble. Alright, so I can play it and heal up. That's pretty ideal. Alternatively, I could play a Rag. So we played a Molten Giant and then healed up immediately after. That's like one of the basic concepts of this deck. Not cool. He has 9 damage on the field right now, and I'm at 23. He's at 16, but there's no way that this rag is going to hit his face with 5 creatures on the board. Wow, now he can kill it. But will he? It'll cost him his juggler and his cleric. But he still has more mana, and he could life tap. Nope. Uh... Power Overwhelming. Nope, Dark Iron Dwarf. Wow. He wanted that to hit. Okay, he's gonna run that Cleric into it. Wow, dude. Am I dead next turn? Four. That's ten. Twelve. I hit another Molten. I think we do this first. But I have no more life gain besides, um... Ancient of Lores. I don't know if that's better or not. Now we're back to that situation of Charge or Taunt. He can get through this just with these two. And then still hit me for six. And if he draws like Doom Guard, it makes it way close. And if I just play this Molten, he's just going to go all face. So I think we have to play this. We'll taunt it. I can afford the hero power. Do I take out that Leper Gnome? This better not cost me the game somehow. If I kill that, I'm going to take 4 damage, dude. Oh my god, I'm a genius! Now I can play my Molten Giant! That was a complete accident! See, if I was really good at this game, I would have called that from the beginning. I would have been like, oh look, I... Am I dead? Oh no, he can get me down to one! He can get me down to one. Soulfire GG, anything that pumps up GG. Abusive Sergeant, game. Abusive Sergeant, Soulfire, game over. Doom Guard into the Druid of the Claw. Yeah, he's got it. And then he can hit me. If that's a pump up spell, I'm dead. Power Overwhelming, Abusive Sergeant, it's not. He's afraid. Wow, dude. Yeah, Haunted Creeper. <laughs> That's like one of the few cards that could possibly save me. And look, it doesn't activate either of those. We'll plink them. We might be able to win this. Oh my god, I hate Zoo, but Hunters are worse to me right now. That's not cool. There's no way I can lose right now, unless that's a Doom Guard. That hurts, but it's not enough. Taunter. Nope, that's not it. This will heal me up to 9. And he has 9 damage. He has exactly 9 damage on the board. 
So we lost. No! I play this, gain five, and armor up. That'll put me at a ten. And he doesn't have enough damage. He can top deck anything, like a soul fire will do it. And I think that's my only play. If I play Rag and hope that it kills anything, if Rag kills that, if Rag kills that or that, he would only have, if Rag kills this, he would have 5 damage, and I would die. Okay, this is the right thing. But now if he top decks anything that deals damage, I'm dead. And I can't hit any of these things. They just make everything worse. Alright. We lost this game, but this was close. I can't believe he got through both of my Molten Giants, dude. Yeah, well played. Uh. Maybe we'll play one more game? Dang it. Thought I had a chance. Um, I have two wins with Paladin. Like Hunter, 300. Um, I think I have a lot with uh, Mage, but I don't even have a Mage deck. Warlock, 215. Priest, 150. Warrior, 82. Druid, 354. That's my best. He's my only level 60. Shaman 78, but Paladin? Two. Alright, we'll play this mid-range Warlock uh, one more time, and this will be our last game. Last game. Y'all can gamble on this one. Gamble open, 40, win-lose if you want. I lose most of my Hearthstone games, so take that into account when you bet. <laughs> Okay, so this combo isn't as cool as you think it is. If you play a Void Caller and he pulls out a Lord Jaraxxus, he just lands on the battlefield as a 315. He, you don't get the battle cry ability, and it really uh, ruined my fun the first time that I saw that happen. I was low on life, I thought I would be fine, I would be able to heal up. Alright, so we got a turn one. Flame Imp or Juggler. We'll see what he's playing. So he's not playing Undertaker. I guess we'll flame up turn one. And we'll see what we bait out with that. Uh, typing out gamble close in chat. Alright, that's kind of stinky. Now I wish I played turn one Knife Juggler, because I'd have a 50-50 shot of me playing that Flame Imp and it killing this off. I'm tempted to Soul Fire it, but I won't. Maybe I will. I'm going to lose a lot of tempo when he kills that off. He's going to kill this. Right now I'm just debating if it's worth Soul Firing that. Next turn, he's going to play a fat 3-drop that's either going to be a the 3-4 that heals a thing for 4, or an Injured Blade Master. Yeah, Dark Cultist, there he is. So that's a better candidate for Soulfire. Do I want to draw a card first? I think I do. Wow. I don't want to discard this. Perfect. I didn't want that Dread Infernal. Alright, next turn, Coin Sludge Belcher. 
Next turn, Doom Guard. This might this might work. Gamble close. Oh no, Circle of Healing! No? Okay, a little weird. Yeah, we go Belcho. What does he say? Stomach feel funny. <laughs> we might take out this Control Priest, but it's a little early to call it. They can stabilize really low on health. Like, I can get this guy down to, like, five, and he can come back from there. Oh my god, well played. And he keeps my taunt token. That was sick. We'll Doom Guard. And go face. 14! That's pretty low! Wow! Not cool, man. He's still got five cards in his hand. Now I think we're dead. That helps. I mean, that was a crazy top deck. If I still lose this game, it's because I'm bad. You can't ask for a better back-to-back -back Doom Guard like that. Now he's killing that off so that he can heal up. He's scared now. Those decks always run one Shadow Word death. But I've never even seen a Sunwalker. Oh my god. I got nothing to deal with that, too. Wow. Terrible. I'm gonna do that just to pop the shield? I don't even know if I should attack here. Just to pop the shield. Nah, that's terrible, man. Now he's gonna play a Cabal Shadow Priest and take my... my Harvest Golem. God! We've lost. Yeah, am I dead next turn? It looks like I am. Oh my god, I hate losing at Hearthstone. Any reason to life tap? He has 10 damage. I mean, that's not good enough. I can play them all, but it doesn't matter. If he can deal one damage to me, I'm dead. So, Holy Nova, Holy Fire... He's got it, yeah. Holy Nova. Oh my god. Dead. Alright, guys, that's the end of this Hearthstone vid. We had one good game, at least? And then we just started to get train wrecked. Priest is so popular in the meta. Honestly, those are like the big three decks right now. Hunter, Priest, and Zoo. Nah, just Warlock in general. There's some decks that you can't even... I'll show you all the deck real quick and continue ranting. There are some decks that you can't even play in this meta right now. Um, Hunter is so popular that you can't play Freeze Mage, and you can't play Secrets Mage. Gamble. Winner, two, since we lost that one. But yeah, you can't run any deck with secrets, because everyone's playing Hunter, and they run Double Flare to counter the other Hunters. It's so terrible. Uh, here's this deck. It's basically about getting out a Void Caller and then playing a Doom Guard for free when it dies, or a Dread Infernal for free when it dies. And like I said, if you hit a Lord Jaraxxus, you don't get the battle cry off of him. So you get no hero powers, or anything like that, or no health boost. He just comes into play as a 315.